welcome back to another video. We're on the road again. This time we're driving to Muskoka, the rally, hosted by Overland North. We're going camping on an abandoned airstrip. I got the chuck box all hooked up, going for the weekend. We're volunteering, of course. So we're going up on a Thursday night just to help set up. And then we're gonna get into some pretty awesome festivities. We're gonna meet some really cool people, lots of new people and lots of returning people, a lot of people we've seen before. Just me and the dog this weekend. And so yeah, excited, it's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned. Well, we are setting up here and I just noticed that uh, my e-track came out, or my little track. I guess I gotta use bigger screws. morning it was a good night on the trailer basically ran the heater all night nice and cozy I can have a good night too just make some coffee it is Friday which is the opening day for the event got lots of work to do but uh, we got a lot of volunteers here so it's awesome to have lots of help too People are starting to trickle in. The event is now officially open. The runway is gonna get filled up pretty quickly. Part of that, we'll do some walk around tours, meet some incredible people, and just have a blast of a time. So if you guys remember that cargo trailer, we did a walk around tour of it last year. So make sure to check out that video. Pretty wicked build. Tacos in a bag. I am pepper and uh, onion yeah. man, tomato yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Good Chef good will be cheese man. Pepper and onion man. man. No, we've got lettuce man lettuce on the man. opposite side. That is man. And Matthew is going to be dishing out the uh, ground beef into the Dorito bag. Awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, taco in a bag. Lots of onions. Yeah, double onions. You ordered double onions. That's you. I'll take it. Just a snack. I'll take it.
So back at the trailer now, and uh, that Dorito taco kit thing was something else. That was that was really good. Gonna put the dog in the trailer now and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. It's gonna be a beautiful night. Looks like it. So, yeah. Hey, Hi. it's the lettuce guy. Morning. Super comfortable in the truck box yet again. Been running the heater for eight and a half hours and hasn't skipped a beat. Two days in a row now. Yeah. Good morning. Saturday, the rally. It's gonna be a good day. Just cooking up some breakfast, get some food, and then we're gonna do some walking around, meet some cool people, see some cool rigs, and uh, I think we're going off-roading as well. So, should be a good day. Should be an excellent day. I'm excited. Stay tuned, as always. That sun is just starting to come up now. truck I'm gonna do some off-roading should be a good time and I get to try it out yeah
We're back from the trail run. Good little run. No, time to relax. Already nice and started. Ready for the drill. Nice and slow, just like last time. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Keep pushing. Good job, buddy. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight, eleven seconds. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Eleven Yay. seconds. Five, we seven, eight seconds. Oh my god. Eight seconds with a burnout at the end. Dinner time and prize time. It's a great time, great event. Make connections that last lifetimes. Let's uh, go to dinner. Somebody's getting a brand new set of tires. Who we got? Um, Martin Linuiski. Hey! Marty Linuiski. Martin's a longtime supporter of Overland North, one of our OGs. Right. <laughs> Dude, he just won out both them ETs, man. That's awesome. Um, Mitsubishi, that's why. <laughs> They're available. Uh, again, just, you know. All right, enough of me blathering. Let's give some stuff away. Start it up. Curtis, you get our character award tonight. I guess while I wait for my coffee to boil, let's go over some updates of the truck box because I did make some changes before our big East Coast trip and I didn't really capture them or show them on video. So they're honestly just small little changes, but they're things I should have done from the beginning. So let's go over the first thing. This is a request from Jess, my wife. Uh, she wanted some privacy blinds. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and I bought this pull down automatic holding blind thing, blackout. And so that thing goes all the way down. I had to buy a 24 inch one and I just cut it with my chop saw to fit it to size. What I did to make it work with the trailer because you know it, it might not always be even when you have the window open, there's a lot of draft that comes through. So I just attached this little magnet piece with the steel on the bottom here. So you can pull it down and it latches into place and stays put. And that has been fantastic on our East Coast trip. That, you know, we're in some spots that we didn't really have complete privacy. So it was nice just to pull down the window. But if you have the window open still, it allows airflow to come and sneak in behind. So it's perfect. I'm really happy with this upgrade. And it was just a nice little easy project to install. So the other thing, and there was a lot of comments saying that these legs are not strong enough. Maybe they're right, but I'm going on three years now with these things and they've been working fantastic. So what I did originally is I just had hinges and these legs would flop around. So I installed these locking mechanism hinges. So these guys pop up and lock into place. What I did additionally is just, I just added some steel brackets to help transfer the load from midpoint down to the legs. Those just kind of help stiffen up the legs so I don't have any worries about it. Now the last thing, probably the most important thing, and this is something I should have done from the beginning. I got my cushions to be custom made by a professional upholster. And these are awesome. These are true three inch foam mattresses that now have 
proper support so this bed is super comfortable to sleep in and they fit perfectly in the size of the trailer so there's no gaps fits nice and tight and this is a removable fabric if i have any spills or something i can just remove it and get it dry cleaned and that honestly is something that i should have gotten done originally instead of just trying to make my own that were subpar and didn't really work i reached out to a pollster gave her my dimensions and within a week she had exactly the cushions i needed and on her big east coast trip that just made a world difference so other than that not much has changed on the trailer truck is a little muddy because we did go wheeling yesterday with it and behind here i've been kind of using the truck as the kitchen uh, for water the fridge and the stove and so right now, temporarily, I just have this piece of wood, slide a piece of wood that I just slide out. I pull out my stove, my utensils, and my sink, and the fridge is in behind there, and I just access it through the side door. What I have done, though, is I have a 150 amp hour lithium battery by CanBat. That is the cold rated self-heated battery and has Bluetooth chip. So that battery is awesome. I can control it with my phone and I can see how much power it's at. And then also, if it dips below freezing and I want to charge the battery, well, then it'll draw power from the charger to heat itself up before charging the battery in essence protecting it from you know the elements so that's a really cool add-on eventually that battery is going to go in the trailer and then i swap the trailer battery for the one that's in the truck and then i also have a 18 amp victron dc to dc charger and that thing's been fantastic again bluetooth compatibility so i can use my phone to monitor it see what's going on and that setup has been fantastic we just completed a 6200 kilometer trip 10 days on the road dc to dc charger always kept the battery up charged and then the same thing with the solar panels on the roof of the trailer I'm never without power, and that's fantastic. That's awesome. Now, just a reminder too, I am a distributor for CanBat and Victron Electronics. So if you're interested, go on my website, complete the free quote, and I will personally reach out to you and figure something out that works for your system. Again, I'm not just trying to resell high quality electronics. I really want to help you understand your system that you need and so that you're not overbuying, over designing, building something that has enough versatility so that you can upgrade in the future. Complete the quotation form, and again, I can reach out and get you a great deal on some amazing products so oh. you have to get to one of these events in person to truly experience it honestly it's so difficult to capture the atmosphere on camera i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching stay tuned